three levels up. Gosh, this is, I, I am so flipping passionate about this because <laughs> I run on so little sleep. And before kids, I mean, I was somebody that was like, oh no, I got like just shy of seven hours. I don't know how I'm going to make it through the day. Like I was such a prima donna and, and sleep is hugely important. Don't get me wrong. Like you should get proper quality, high quality sleep. Um, it's also been really enlightening to see how much the, like the human person can function on so little sleep, especially being a new, a new parent. And if I did not have a 30 minute practice to put into place, at some point in my day, um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't hang. I couldn't make it the whole day with the kids and the business and the whole thing. So I personally, um, live and die by at home workouts. I'm not in a mm. season where I can, you know, cart around town with two small babies and take up, like take them places and nap schedules and, um, and then try to match up with like a, a studio class schedule as, as well. So, right now my kids take three naps a day and I just make sure that it happens in one of those three naps, ideally in the morning. Cause I feel the best, but, um, one of those naps, it's, I mean, I will do that before I do an income producing activity in my business, because it's like, if you're not right, if you don't have endorph endorphins flowing, the whole ship is going to go down. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, that, that that's interesting to me. Cause I'm, I'm looking at not that I'm a mom and I'm balancing all of that, but I'm looking at my energy levels and what I used to do, and I'd love to get your feedback on this because this is a transition yeah. that I'm making, is I used to um, have my waking up time, let's call it, I would read, I would yep. uh, do morning Bible process. study, and then, I would, and then I would work out, right, um, yeah. to get ready for my day. Having read some things that this kind of made me want to flip that a little bit because um, you're big rocks for business, it's, it's basically said as soon as you wake up, start working on those big rocks because the distraction room comes sooner than you think. And then right mm -hmm. after that work on, um, you know, sharpening your mind, sharpening your body, sharpening your spirit. So I'm working on kind of doing a flipping it around just a little bit, but still trying to get that in at the top of the day, but working on my business, big rocks first. So. Ooh, interesting. You're yeah. going to let me know how this goes. I, I know. And I've tweaked it. I haven't tweaked it with putting business first. I, uh, because, and I, a lot of your listeners are in the same boat our whole world happens on technology. And so I have a really hard and fast rule. Like, no, I will not wake up to my cell phone. Like it's on airplane mode until mm. I get done with in a perfect world. It would be on airplane mode until I finish that 30 minute workout. And then I like a morning practice with spiritual, uh, any kind of journaling, any kind of reading, um, before kids, that was like a beautiful 45 minute <laughs> practice. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm like reading a little quick devotional or like a little tidbit and writing down three things I'm grateful for and pressing play. Uh, but so I have a hard, I, I feel two ways about this. I have a really hard time deviating away from like having technology on that early in the day, but I I'm, I'm somebody who gets pretty distracted. So I love the idea of the eating the frog as they say, or like mm -hmm. getting those items checked off. That sounds really healing. And I do yeah. know that like in, in my business, there's, um, we call them power hours where mm -hmm. like, there's like a mm -hmm. list of tasks that we have to do. And so a lot of people will host as like a community effort. They'll say, Hey, let's all hop on zoom and 6am and do a 6am power hour. So we're like in community together. Mm. Um, and the times that I have participated in that, like, I feel like I am businesswoman of the year for sure. And, and I haven't gone full tilt into it yet, but the, the few times that I've done it, I do feel like um, I've gotten so much more accomplished yeah. business wise um, than, than I have like in a whole day, like in that first like hour yeah. and a half than I, than I could in like five or six hours of actually the rest of the yes. day. Um, so I like that. And I feel like depending on how low, how much you load your schedule, you can shorten your day even like the time, like yeah. you can, you can take off earlier because you produce so much at the beginning. So mm -hmm. um yeah, it's, no, I, it's, it's to be determined. You got my wheels turning. So, okay. Uh, but you you're, you're in a different turning. situation. So your, your kids kind of dictate your schedule um, yeah. a lot. So. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> so, but, they do. And that, and that makes sense. It's your priority and that's as it should be. So, yeah. Um, but you do amazing with, with the time that, that you have um, that, that they're not like. <laughs> and I don't know if any like other entrepreneurs can, um, speak to this, or if this is just like maybe some, some money reprogramming I need to work through with a therapist, but I just feel like 
okay, if I'm going to spend money on babysitter dollars, like I've got to, like, I've got to maximize mm. my productivity. Uh, and so that's also like an incentive. I'm like, I have three hours of babysitter time um, where that helps keep me on track. Yeah. I don't think there's anything negative in my, I mean, yeah. I'm not a, yeah. a money expert by no means, but I don't think there's anything negative about thinking that way, trying to be the yeah. most productive in the, in the best yeah. In, those, yeah. in those hours. So yeah, not squander um, the time.